Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another DeFi tutorial. If you're a follower of Stan Weinstein or like to use stage analysis to analyze stocks, I'm going to show you how to set up a perfect daily and weekly template here in DeFi uh, to help speed up your analysis. Uh, so first things first, right now we're on a weekly chart. Uh, we'll go ahead and start here and let's go ahead and actually delete all these different indicators. We'll start from scratch here. Uh, we'll keep volume here. Uh, but what we want to do is add a 10 week moving average a 30 week moving average and also a 40 week moving average. Uh, so what we want to do is go up here to indicators and strategies, give that a click, type in moving average and type it or get this one right here. And let's go ahead and add two. Then what we don't want to do is hover over this first moving average. And this is going to be our 10 week moving average. So let's go ahead and type that in um, this styling. We want to go ahead and make red. And there we go. We're already good to go with our 10 week moving average. Then for this one, this is going to be our 40 week moving average. Let's go ahead and edit that again by clicking the gear icon going over to inputs. Let's make this 40 and let's go ahead and change the styling to black. Um, already we are pretty much good to go to analyze based on stage analysis. Here's a stage two breakout here with NVIDIA, uh, and it's been in a stage two ever since, potentially starting a stage three, but we'll see if we undercut and start oscillating above and below the longer term moving average. Right now we are below the 10 week moving average, so that's the first sign that you know a stage three might be starting, especially after an extended move like this. Uh, but one more moving average that we want to add is the 30 week moving average. And this is optional depending on how you like to view things. It's just going to be a little bit of a faster signal than the 40 week moving average. Uh, so it's kind of up to you if you add this or not. I personally like just keeping two moving averages. I think it looks a little bit cleaner. Uh, but for some of you, you might like the 30 week moving average. And let's style this and make it orange and bring the opacity a little bit down there so it's not quite as obvious and you can see actually nvidia undercut and rallied this one right as it put in this base uh and it respected it right here as well so actually for this stock this seems to be the more relevant moving average than that 40 week this has kind of been untouched so far this has been respected and responded off from so if we do undercut that that's a little bit more significant than the 40 week and again, could be a tell that we're starting a uh, stage three here. Uh, but if you want to keep that 30 week, but don't always want to see it, you can always go over here and um, basically do click that to hide it. Um, or you can do that with the 40 week as well. All right. Uh, and we have gotten questions in the past, you know, what moving averages does Stan use? Does he still use those uh weighted moving average. I forget exactly what he uh, used, the Mansfield moving averages. Um, right now he uses simple. This is exactly what he looks at on the weekly. Uh, those moving averages as well as volume, obviously that's key for how he interprets price action. Uh, one more bonus thing that I do want to mention here in Deep View that you can add, especially if you're newer to stage analysis or just want confirmation, is we have a built-in stage analysis indicator. So if we type in stage analysis and give that a click. You can see we actually color code the stages. So red is going to be in um, a stage four. Then we transition to a stage two with green. And whenever we start potentially forming those stage threes, we go to yellow. Uh, so this gives you a really nice color coded um, version of stage analysis. This is based on where the logic behind this is based on extensive discussions with Stan, what he looks for in terms of the moving averages, the duration of a trend, all of that is incorporated here. And you can see again, we're getting a little bit of warning signs with regards to potentially starting a stage three up here. We'll obviously have to see what happens. Stage threes can transition back to stage twos, or of course, roll over into a stage four. Like for instance, if we bring up Peloton as an example, and this stage four lasted quite some time and dropped the stock about 90% uh, from its highs. But going back to NVIDIA, uh, this is the stage analysis indicator, definitely very helpful. If you don't want it to be, you know, as in your face, you can always hover over here in the object tree, click these three dots for more, move to new pane above, or actually new pane below here. We can put it uh, a new pane um, above by doing this right here, move to new pane above, there we go. And you can minimize this and still see the stages, but again, then the price action is more kind of uh, clean and I like this look personally a lot more. So this is a good weekly template. Uh, to save this, what you wanna do is go over to 
this icon here, Indicare Templates. Give that a click, click Save Indicare Template, and then you could do SA for Stage Analysis, and I'll name this Tutorial. And then because we want to be uh, this be our weekly setup, you can go ahead and check Remember Interval, so it remembers that, and anytime you load this layout, it will automatically load the weekly. So let's click Save, and there we go. Now we can actually see it right here. You can star it to add it to this bar up here. You can unstar it to remove it. And now if we switch away, we can always load that in one click just by clicking uh, Stage Analysis Weekly. So uh, very handy uh, just to have that. Uh, and we actually might want to rename this. And let's go ahead and save it as Stage Analysis Weekly, just so we remember that this is the weekly chart. And let's go ahead and uncheck this one, delete that one, yes. And then let's go ahead and star that one. And now it says weekly here, so it's just that much more obvious. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead and now create a daily template. Uh, Stan in recent years has been using a lot more of the daily charts versus weekly. He always considers all time frames, but the daily is actually a lot more responsive as the markets have gotten faster. And he likes to use the 50 day moving average a whole lot more than he used to, um, which is the equivalent of the 10 week here on the weekly. So let's go ahead over to a daily chart. Uh, the stage analysis indicator automatically adjusts and you can still see it highlights the stage four back in this area. Um, but we do need to adjust the moving averages here. So let's go ahead and edit this and make this the 50 now. Let's make the 40 week, the 200 day simple moving average. And let's make the 30 week, the 150, All right? There we go, 150. So there we go. We've already got a moving average set. We've got volume taken care of. We've got the stage analysis indicator here as well. So just in a few clicks, we have our daily template. So let's go ahead and save it. Save it in your template. Let's do SA slash daily. Remember interval, we're now on a daily chart. Click save and we can go ahead and favorite it as well. So now you've got your daily, your weekly, and you can switch back and forth uh, between those time frames really, really easily. Now, one more thing I do wanna show you guys is that um, here in the data panel, we have a preset for Stan Weinstein. So if you go ahead and click the drop down arrow, data panel presets, top traders, Stan Weinstein, we have the stage analysis stage right there for you. We're actually in 3A. Um, according to the logic created by Stan here with regards to NVIDIA, uh, you can see the sector, group, and industry because we're looking for uh, leading stocks and leading groups with, with regards to uh, stage analysis. Uh, so this is all kind of set up to analyze stocks just like Stan would. Uh, so this is pretty cool. We've got that preset there for you and you can always go ahead and uh, adjust this if you'd like. One more thing I want to show you is we do have screens um, created for Stan and what he looks for. So if we go to um, this drop down menu, we're in the screener module. If we go to the drop down menu, top traders, we can go ahead and scroll all the way down to Stan Weinstein. You can look for stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, uh, four B minus. That's a special setup where it's potentially put in the bottom for the cycle and is potentially set up for a longer term move or a move higher um, off that key low. So these are good templates to take a look at. Also, we have, if you go over to the DFU screen, we have the stage analysis leaders, I believe somewhere. There we go, stage analysis leaders. So again, this is looking for stocks, strong stocks, showing relative strength and leading groups um, that are acting well right now. We can actually load that up. Um, AAL, actually the airlines have been acting really nicely. And this is actually a perfect example of a stage 4B minus where a stock's gotten destroyed, there's, move, there's room to run, and it pushes higher and begins a nice trend, a nice kind of reversal trend there. So uh, that's a quick um, run through of how to set up your chart template, um, as well as your data panel, access the top screens, and this data point in Weinstein stages, it can be added to any screen that you like. Uh, you just have to go ahead and choose it within uh, the filters. You can see right here uh, for stage analysis leaders, we're looking for stage two or 2A, which is early stage two. Uh, so that's pretty much all I wanted to cover today. Hopefully this helped you uh, get set up if you like to use stage analysis and want to get set up in DFU. Um, we've got a lot of built-in features as I showed with the special indicator showing stage analysis, the data point, as well as obviously easily uh, editable moving averages to set it up. Uh, set up your ideal training layout just like Stan 
uh, would. So thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, let us know any thoughts, questions, or feedback down below. Uh, leave a like down below on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in future videos. Take care.